What's up everybody, my name is Ty and I'm here with another Warframe Guide video. In this video we will be looking at the Umbro Equinox Prime Hybrid. What that means is that we'll be looking at other different Warframe abilities out there that can work with Equinox Prime. And when it comes to that, there's not many abilities out there that can actually go with Equinox. Let's go for instance Breach Surge. Yeah, That's, it sounds good and all, but when it comes to that, it's just straight up not really worth that much but I would say it's a it's a pretty much a third pick when it comes to prioritizing other abilities out there so I do have two picks already the top twos but we'll go with the third pick for a breach surge but I'm getting ahead of myself let's go ahead and take a look at the build right now you guys already seen what my appearance looks like on my warframe so let's go ahead and take a look at it so when it comes to the build I have two builds forget the first one the first one is non-hybrid so let's go for the this one right here so this one allows you to be able to use dispensary with the energy pickup and what this basically uh, do is that it allows you to drop or drops basically energy ammo and health and all that stuff but with the extra chance of pickup chance you get probably a chance of double energy orbs and such like that so with this build this is basically a afk build that's why i have dispensary allowing you to stay still take out your that's fine provoke man and main now when it comes to using this build usually it's best on lift to neo maybe axi just maybe but most likely not on alloy armor enemies. The second build would be the steel path or high level version. Obviously this one's a little bit weird because I have pillage. Now why the hell do I have pillage? I'm going to show you guys why and how it works. But first let's take an understanding of what pillage do. So pillage basically, you're basically like stealing, not really quite stealing, but yeah, you're stealing. You're basically stealing either shields or armor from enemies and apply it to your own shields. So it's pretty insane on how much shields you can possibly have with this pillage thing at the max is one is 1500 based upon your shield capacity of course so if you have more shield capacity you get more shields obviously i don't have no shield capacity here so i'm stuck at 300 i'm gonna show you guys how it operates what the range is duration how does it affect it all right so let's take a good look at pillage and how it works so the range will be the initial radius of when it starts and duration will be a how, um, how long it lasts for the spreading so it does spread out throughout the entire duration so here's what i mean by that Notice it's spreading out right now. So duration will affect that. The radius will affect um, the initial radius, basically. So the smaller the, uh, the range, the, the smaller the radius or the initial radius. So basically, you need a combine of both range and duration, prioritizing over duration over range in order to get that nice range for the pillage. Now, how the hell does pillage work with Equinox? Well, if you guys know that in dual forms, usually mend is made for getting, getting that lifesteal and shields and such. I, yeah, so it's around there. Now, well, you don't have to do that no more because you got pillage. And not only that, but you can also strip armor and shields from enemies. So let's go ahead and see what I mean by that. Let's go ahead and do on the arid lancers. Now, in order for this to work, you need to have the third ability at 80%. So let's go ahead and cast that out, propping the energy conversion and growing power. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and max this out to 80%. All right, so I have 80% on the third ability here. Let's go ahead and use Pillage on an enemy. So let's take a look at what enemy is left here. There it is. There it is. All right, so if I use if I cast Pillage right now, okay, you don't see no armor reduction, right? You don't really see that visual effect. That's because Pillage is not at 100%. It's not pillaging the enemy at 100% uh, capacity. So the way to do that, and let me go ahead and spawn some new enemies. So the way to do that is you need to go ahead and proc your growing power and energy conversion. That's this is a must do, by the way. You must do this. So if you don't do this, it's not gonna work. So all right, here we go. Let's get that thing. Pressure two. Look at that. All the armor is gone. How is that possible? How is that possible? Okay, so in order to be able to strip entirely either shields or armor 100% completely would be to have at least 400% ability strength. So let's take a good look at what happens if I use MAME right now, since these guys don't have armor, right? Let's go ahead and proc the engine conversion and growing power real fast. I mean, these guys are level 175, so it doesn't really mean that much. They have too much health. But that's the damage that you, they take. How come they don't take more damage? Well, they still have their resistance to slash. So when it comes to using pillage and, ma and main, most likely you want to be using your guns to kill these guys because they're all flesh right now. 
I mean, I just I just one shot these guys. I mean, they're they're kind of trash mobs, so it makes sense. But you know, when it comes to pillage, it's pretty good for stripping armor and shields and just straight up killing everything really fast. Uh, so you guys can use maim or mend. This this build is a little bit different from my old video on the third build, which is basically a both forms build. But this one, you can use either mend or maim and stick with it. You don't have to like constantly switch over and over again if you don't want to. Well, you can if you want, but it's up to you really. Let's take a look at the ability strength and what the numbers are on my build here. So I have exactly 253 ability strength. I have 50 on energy conversion. That's 50% ability strength right here. I got 25 on growing power. So that's 75 total already. So that's basically around 323. 328 actually. And then peaceful provocation. 328 plus 80. That's already around 400 something. So you do need to have peaceful provocation in order for this to work. If, this, if you don't have it, it's going to be around 90% armor reduction, and they will still have armor. But it, they do take some resistance with that armor. But overall, they should take more damage than usual. So it's up to you. But I think if you guys want to strip entirely all the armor or shields, peaceful provocation is required. All right, so we've seen the two abilities, which are dispensary and pillage, which are the top twos. It's up to you guys which one you think is first. But let's take a look at the third place, which is Breach Surge. Now, when it comes to Breach Surge, I tested this out. The amount of damage you do with MAME doesn't really apply that well with Breach Surge's sparks. So the damage output is pretty little. But let's say you actually do have Men to MAME and Breach Surge casted. Well, guess what? If you guys have a really strong ass weapon, it makes a big difference. So with the stats that I have at 408 strength, by the way, we get damage multiplier of 8.16. That's, that's huge damage. Then you got 81 status chance, 20 to blind duration, which is good enough to kill everything, and then 28 to range, which is decent enough. So Breach Surge actually does work pretty well with Equinox, but only if you are going to be using your weapons mainly. And some other abilities that I think works well with Equinox, Fire Blast or Healing Blast mainly, is pretty good on Equinox. Forget the armor stripping. I think with the Healing Blast, you will stay alive with Equinox, as well as doing some heat procs and armor stripping. But otherwise, it's okay. It's a neat decent side and then you got elemental ward which is great for that tankiness or it depends on what element you guys want any element works pretty well with equinox so it's up to you guys on what you guys going to do for that and then when it comes to the other ability which is condemn now that's pretty much shunned on warframes because the tribunal augment does not really work at all but once the fixes this it's going to work flawlessly on Equinox because of the lifesteal and the energy that you need for Equinox. And if they do fix the Blazing Pillage Augment for Pillage, sounds pretty nice to use this on Equinox. That is it for this video. Pretty damn short and compared to all my other Umbro uh, Prime hybrid videos out there. If you guys like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to support my channel. Until we meet again, you guys. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.